joining us again on the newsroom. I am Onya Dekele. President Muhammadu Buhari is currently presiding over an emergency national security meeting at the State House in Abuja. Although details of the meeting have not been disclosed, it is expected to review the current security situation in different parts of the country. President Buhari at the last meeting outlined new security measures for the southeast and south-south zones of the country to restore peace in the region. In the House of Representatives has summoned Lai Mohammed, the Minister of Information and Culture, over the suspension of Twitter operations in Nigeria. At its sitting on Tuesday, the House mandated its committees on communication, justice, information and culture, as well as national security and intelligence, to immediately commence an investigation into the suspension of the microblogging site. Lai Mohammed announced the suspension of a social media platform in Nigeria last week after Twitter took down a post from President Mohamed Buhari's account for violating its rules. The Federal Road Safety Corps, FRSC, has advised federal and state governments to map out bicycle lanes in future road constructions to reduce the huge costs associated with other means of transportation and reduce traffic crashes. FRSC Squara Sector Commander Jonathan Owade gave the advice when he led a convoy of riders along major roads in Ilori, the state capital, to sensitize riders in celebrating this year's Bicycle Day. According to Owade, the first week of June every year has been set aside by the United Nations General Assembly to celebrate and create awareness on the advantages of non-motorized means of transportation. Brazil is bracing for the threat of a third wave of COVID-19 fueled by vaccination delays and a lack of containment measures. So far, each pandemic wave has been successfully worse in Brazil, peaking at a weekly average of around 1,000 deaths per day in July 2020 during the first wave and 3,000 deaths per day last April during the second. With the southern hemisphere winter approaching again, experts say warning lights are flashing, raising fears of a return to overflowing hospitals, mass graves, refrigerator trucks piled with corpses, and other gruesome scenes from the darkest days of the pandemic in Brazil. The Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC, says Nigeria and oil producing members lost about $1 trillion in revenue within two years. Sanusi Barkindo, the Secretary General of OPEC, disclosed this at the 2021 Nigeria International Petroleum Summit, which was held in Abuja on Monday. Barkindo said the loss was as a result of the plunge in oil prices between 2015 and 2016, which affected government spendings and investments during the period. The OPEC boss added that exploration and production spending fell by 25 percent, amounting to above $300 billion in both 2015 and 2016. In Belarus Premier League side FC Vitesk has said the drowning of Nigerian footballer Kelvin Odenibo was an accident. 20-year-old Odenibo was found dead in a lake in Belarus last Sunday. In a statement published on Instagram on Monday, the club confirms that according to forensic examination, no traces of violence were found on the footballer's body and no traces of alcohol was also found in his blood. Odenibo made the move to Europe this year's match, signing for Vitesk on loan from NAF Rockets FC of the Nigerian National League, where he had played for four years. Since the 2021 football season, he has played in four major league games for the Belarusian top, top flight club and has recorded an assist. Well, that's the latest update on the newsroom at this time. Please join us again at the top of the half for more.